Coming up this weekend, there is going to be a phenomenal rock and roll show yeah. at Hawking College, Starbrick Music Festival. Yes. So we've been talking about this for the last couple weeks. And starbrickmusicfestival.com is the actual website if you're looking for tickets for the event. I'll have to pull it up right now while so, we're talking. Yeah, pull it up. Um, and so you are not going to want to miss out on that show. Uh, it's, it's a whole weekend of, of music. It starts on Friday night. Uh, starts on Friday and goes both all day Friday and Saturday. And actually, you can actually go early. You can check in Thursday night and get primitive camping available. And they've got some other cool stuff. They've got a great event called Rocking on the Hawking taking place. Yeah. And it's just going to be uh, you know an opportunity to not only tube and kayak and have fun on the river, but hear some great rock and roll music. And we're talking original artists, uh, but also a, a, a whole slate of some of the top tribute artists in the nation. And uh, we've got James joining us on the phone. Uh, from Stadium 11, one of the groups that's performing. Uh, good morning, James. How are you? Hey, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. Well, hey, well, thank you for calling in this morning. So uh, Stadium 11, one of the bands that's going to be performing this weekend, and I'm looking at your description here. So it says, you guys, you like to play tribute to the greatest songs and performances of the greatest groups in rock music history. So I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but tell us, who are some of the groups that we're going to hear this weekend when Stadium 11 takes the, sa- takes the stage? Well, all the songs that you remember back in the 70s and 80s from the from the arena rock days. So we do everything from Heart to Boston to Journey to Foreigner to uh, Queen, um, the REO Speedwagon, that whole genre, music genre. Awesome. So how do you guys come together and come up with a come up with an idea like you know I know like a lot of times bands will start with people just kind of getting together and wanting to just play some music. What makes you decide? on something like the legends of arena rock, other than the fact that it is just some of the greatest rock and roll music that's ever existed. It's the music that we grew up with, it's the music we love. So, you know, a lot of those songs and a lot of those bands, it's very difficult to recreate. We try to match it from, from both the music um, and also performance side, so we try to make it as fun and, and active for the audience as possible. Awesome. Now, do you guys do like a lot of the tribute artists will do? Do you guys actually try to, uh, to emulate the... The artist by dressing like them, or do you just play the music? Yeah, we don't we don't dress like them. Um, again, it's just really a tribute to. It's not awesome. a tribute band. Right. We try to dress like them and tribute to. Right. And I don't like to. I got to be honest. I don't particularly myself like to use the word tribute band because it takes away from what you guys do. Because you guys are artists, and you know, you know. I heard somebody say, "Oh, well, that's just you know, they're they're a cover band." No, you're not. You're a tribute artist. You you're you're paying tribute to the musicians. That have put this music out there, and so don't sell yourself short by any means whatsoever. There. So, how many people in the group? Five. Five of us that will be coming down. Okay. There's going to be a Joey Fletcher thing, is the lead singer, and then we've got a, or Marty Brazington can be on drums. Grant Gilkey's on guitar. Uh, Todd Bettler on uh, bass, and then myself, James Pat, on keyboards. Awesome. And how many How many years have you guys been playing together? And I founded the band about 14 years ago, so I'm the consistent member. And then the music always has always been the same. We've always delivered. You know, uh, uh, arena classic rock, and we've always had the top area musicians. Awesome. And you guys are based out of the Columbus area, correct? We're in Columbus, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, and we perform really all over the place. Yeah, and you guys are, you guys, I was looking, I was looking at some of your schedules, scheduled show that you guys have coming up. You guys have been pretty much all over the place and are going to continue going all over the place as well, playing some great shows and, and, and having some fun as well. So now, are you guys, I don't, Josh, do you have the Starbucks schedule in front of you there? Are you guys playing Friday or Saturday? Uh, we're, we're playing Friday from okay. six to eight p.m. So Friday, and, mm-hmm. yep, and then uh, and then Sabbath and Floyd will be after us. Awesome, awesome. So you, I mean, yeah. I mean, just like that. I mean, look at that. You got, you got, you got, you got, you guys, you guys starting from six to eight, and then you've got Sabbath, which is uh, this the local, you know, not local, but the, the tribute band to Black Sabbath, mm-hmm. and then right. Floyd Live. <laughs> you can't. I mean, that's a great night of rock and roll right there. Yeah. I would, I would. Oh pay. man. <laughs> so, oh yeah. I yeah. Mean, the the lineup for the event is. Absolutely wonderful. That I'm trying to. It's th- amazing. Looking at that whole yeah. day, uh, Evan Dean starts from two to three, uh, three to four. Uh, Billy Payne, then uh, uh, three to four. Blue Steel with Billy Payne. Mm-hmm. Uh, Skinny Molly. Yep. It's four to six. Stadium Eleven, of course, uh, six to eight, and then uh, Sabbath from eight to ten. And at midnight is Floyd Live. Yeah, so you got, it's got to be really dark for the lights and the lasers and everything else too. So, all right, so people are going to be, so they should come expecting a great arena rock show with you guys and uh, all the hits. I mean, so, now I'm assuming you don't mind if people sing along with you. 
Oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> we love it. I mean, the songs we do, everyone will remember. Absolutely. Everyone knows the lyrics and everyone will join in. And uh, yeah, anyone that can, that can make it out, you know, the uh, my hat's off to the promoter, George Kidder. He's yeah. really done an amazing job. Just coming to see one of these bands oh, yeah. would be an amazing experience. But the ability to come for two days and see the, you know, the lineup that, the, that we have, uh, it's just going to be a remarkable uh, two days of music. So. Look forward to seeing everyone out there. It's going to be a great time.